Hello from Esslingen. We're in a very good mood here. We hope we can <laughs> send it to you, to wherever you are in the world right now. Welcome to our virtual exhibition. Let's talk about Festodidactics. Let's talk about the digital learning portal, something you have to know. <laughs> And in the next 10, 15 minutes, our experts, our specialists will guide you through this world of didactics. And afterwards, we have some time for questions. So if you have some questions, please send them to us. Uh, use the live chat function for that. And for sure, we have some time for the questions afterwards. So have fun Thank and you. see you later. Thank you a lot, Doro. Yeah, it's a pleasure for us to be here. Welcome you all outside at our Festo Didactic booth at the virtual exhibition of Festo. And together here with me is Ute Geppert. She's the head of our product unit, Digital Learning and Training. Yeah, and I'm really happy to be here with Dirk Penske, our head of software development at Festo Didactic. And together we will explain a bit about the Festo learning portal uh, in the next 15 minutes. So Dirk, Actually, what is the Festo Learning Experience Portal and why did we develop it? Yeah, let's take a look at the past. What did we provide to our customers? Uh, we are a supplier for technical education and usually technical education deals with physical learning systems like the one you see here in, in uh, the slide. And those physical learning systems usually represent real production environment in this uh, case in small size. That means in this case, you can learn about uh, knowledge and skills in factory automation in mm -hmm. different areas, mechatronics and so on, and control units. And in addition to those physical learning systems, we usually provide uh, e-learning courses, our simulation tools, programming tools, and so on. But what was missing until now is a system where you can organize the different didactic products into a um, learning path with which makes use of those different didactic mm -hmm. media. And uh, we talk to a lot of our customers and end users. The end users of our systems are, uh, are the learners. And we, we talk to those guys and uh, we ask them, how should learning look like in the future? And they told us, Uh, from the instructor's view, um, it would be great to have a system where I can put in all my stuff and then I can organize my complete lecture, including every type of didactic media. And uh, the learners, they told us what we need are individualized learning paths. That means I do not want, as a learner, I do not want to learn things I already know or I already can. So individualization of learning paths is a major topic in our festival learning experience. And during that situation, we also uh, analyzed uh, trends in technology like uh, internet availability in the world, like AR, augmented reality, virtual reality, and other things. What could make learning more motivating, faster, maybe more efficient? And in total, what was the outcome is our so-called Festal Learning Experience and our Festal Learning Experience portal is the system with which we are able to drive the Festal Learning Experience. And Ute, who are the users of our Festal Learning Experience? So, as you mentioned, basically everybody who is in a qualification process. But in the first place, of course, we addressed um, teachers at vocational schools, um, teachers who are in uh, in the industry, in vocational departments, uh, and the learners, of course, because those customers, we know the best, so those were like the first we addressed with a faster learning experience. But on the other hand, everybody knows that we are all together in a kind of digital transformation. It's not only a buzzword, it's reality, it's in our everyday life, it's also in our work life. And so we are all in a lifelong learning process, and that's why Basically, everybody needs some guidance through the qualification process. So we would not limit the Festo learning experience actually just to the vocational schools, to the teachers and the students. We'd rather have in mind to open it to basically everybody in his lifelong learning process. Yeah. So actually, you mentioned already quite a bit about the Festo learning experience, but what is actually so special about it? What differentiates it from the other so-called online portals that are out there. Yeah, let's take a look to the live system. What you can see here is our so-called landing page for the Festo Learning Experience Portal. Mm -hmm. And 
if you log in, you can see the different technology categories where for which you are able to find learning content. For example, in this case for pneumatics and you find at the moment nine results in your target language regarding pneumatics and then you can take a look at as an instructor you can take a look as, um, at the structure of this mm -hmm. course and what we did is we are we were able to modularize our content in so-called nuggets learning nuggets and that means we are able to provide functionality to change a course to the specific needs of an instructor for example, this instructor here, he has not enough time to run the complete course in his learning group. And so he is able to remove a nugget very easily. On yeah. the other hand, he's also able to change the order of the learning nuggets. Maybe he wants to have this sorting bottles um, nugget, this task nugget, um, be in front of all the other nuggets. And then he can do that very easily. Uh, Moreover, and this is very special, we have an online authoring tool integrated into our Festo Learning Experience portal. Mm -hmm. And with this web-based authoring tool, you're able to create your own learning nuggets very easily. So it's easy like posting something into a social media platform. So you can upload videos, you can use your tablet, you can use your smartphone to take pictures and directly paste it into a learning nugget. And of course, we have some more elements which you can add to a learning nugget regarding learning. For example, also a quiz in this mm -hmm. case. And um, that's so easy that we have a lot of users, they make use of this um, authoring tool integrated into our LX portal to create their own learning nuggets, their own complete courses. Sometimes they use nuggets we provide for uh, general or fundamentals in certain technology areas. Mm -hmm. But in total, it's very easy to create your own digitalized course and learning nugget. Oh, great. Yeah, and we have a very special functionality <laughs> in addition. And what is it, Ute? Yeah, actually, it might look like we only have courses which are totally independent of hardware, but this is not the case. So in a, it's really a big differentiation to regular online courses that are basically used without any equipment, that in our case, we also have courses that are directly linked to our learning systems. So the teacher basically gets everything from one hand. We have the learning system, system but also the environment where we can actually uh, find, or the teacher can actually find the courses and modify them to be used with our equipment. Or vice versa, if somebody already has equipment, he can go to the portal and see what do we have for him to teach with this equipment. So this is really um, a lot more than you would regularly find on a on a platform on a course platform where you have very generic uh, topics only. Right. Um, good. So, uh, Dirk, if if I'm now a teacher and I'm teaching with a Festo learning experience, um, how can I actually interact with my students? How can I see what they do if they make progress and probably interfere with them? Yeah. As a um, instructor or teacher, you are able to assign courses, of course, to learners. For example, you can group a couple of learners into a learning group and then you assign courses to them. And then you're able to monitor and check out what are your learners doing? What are your students working on? And if there's someone, in this case, it's John, he's f he has finished his first task in robotic programming, you can easily assign a new task to him. And this Everything is done inside our Festo Learning Experience portal. So, for example, you can also create your own new task for um, a special student mm -hmm. who is, for example, not that good as, as the others or one is already an expert and he needs a more, more um, yeah, a better task or a more, how to say that, sophisticated task maybe. <laughs> yeah, then you are able to create it on the fly assign this task nugget, for example, to him, and then he can work on, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have seen a little bit about the learning experience portal so far, um, but um, how are we able to get in touch with the learning experience if we do not already have a login? Mm, okay, very easy. Um, basically, all you have to do is open a let's say modern browser, like Google Chrome, for example, Mozilla Firefox won't, will do it also. Um, you open your browser, you type in, and this is seen on the screen now, 
lx.festo.com. This is the landing page of our Festo Learning Experience Portal. On the upper right side, you will find a button which is called uh, Test Account. There you can create your account, you accept cookie cookies, you check your email, confirm your email address, and then you're basically in. You're in, in a test environment which we've set up. So that means we've actually selected a couple of courses for various topics like pneumatics for example where you can actually look at and you will see on one hand the didactic concept that we are following but also on the other hand how we actually prepare our courses in a very modern and interactive and appealing way because we believe it's really important that the, the customer the learner is engaged in the stu in the study that is not boring that you just don't read the text so uh, you can check it out um, in the test account and if you like what you see you could reach out to one of our sales representatives um, because we also have the possibility to provide a demo organization to our customers um, so you can check for 30 days you get full access to everything also to the authoring tool that you mentioned where you can create own courses you can work with a group of up to five students and check everything out and if you finally are convinced and you like the system then of course you can purchase full access um, through your sales representative or also by reaching out via email to us so Dirk, this is what we have right now. What is coming? What is next? What do we have in mind? Yeah, let's take a look. So what you can see here on this next slide is what we already have. The blue colored feature groups we already implemented and released um, a couple of months ago. And what we are working on right now are the dark colored feature groups, starting with gamification. I guess some of you, or maybe all, know what gamification means. We will add elements you know from uh, fun games into our courses to to increase the motivation of our learners of course um, in addition we will release a competency management functionality where mm -hmm. you are able to create target competency profiles for your learners for your students and in addition in parallel, we are working on adaptive learning. So this adaptive learning approach is based on the competency management. So whenever there's a learner learning with a Festo Learning Experience portal, we are able to track how his uh, actual competency profile is developing. And when we are able to see the gap between the target competency profile and the actual, the actual competency profile, we are able to select the nuggets mm -hmm. and the uh, compose learning path automatically out of the system. Mm -hmm. And this will be a proposed learning path for an individual student or learner and the instructor or teacher is able to accept it or he's able to change it. Mm -hmm. yeah. and this is a very important feature which will be released at the end of this year. Then we have connection to a learning management system tools because a lot of our customers, they already have learning management systems in their organization. And then we will be able to connect our learning experience content to those learning management systems. Mm -hmm. Very important point is what we are doing with our existing simulation and programming tools that, runs, uh, that run normally under Windows. Mm -hmm. We will put those uh, programs into the cloud and then we have a direct connection between our Festival Learning Experience Portal and those cloud apps. That's how we call it. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition, we are working on social learning means to assign uh, team tasks to a, to a group of learners. And so they need to work on a given task um, together. And at the end, not at the end, we already have AR and VR systems running. But what we are working on right now is a connection between our learning nuggets and the augmented reality and virtual reality scenarios. And in the long run, maybe we will see virtual classrooms. <laughs> So that's quite a lot what's coming next and uh, that's really exciting and of course we are also very, very agile in this whole development because right. we can pick up trends in the market very easily and then add these features to the portal. Right. Um, if that was interesting to you, I think you can check out the booth here and we brought also some samples of courses that we can actually show you but if you have questions we are also very happy to answer them right now. Right. And that's my uh, point now, <laughs> <laughs> because I brought two questions. Okay, good. <laughs> um, and the first one is about the availability. Is the platform available globally is the question, the first one. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, sky's the limit. 
I would say. <laughs> Very no, good. It's, it's actually, it's available globally. Okay. Of course, it's a language topic. Mm -hmm. uh, we, in general, we provide four basic languages, German, English, French and Spanish. Okay. Uh, we are looking into the uh, availability of courses in further languages, of course, at the moment. But those are our general languages that we provide and language is the key to learning sure. uh, so yes it's available globally but you would need to take the courses in the languages which we provide okay so thank you and the second question is have you programmed the platform yourself <laughs> that's a very good question <laughs> am, I allowed to, am i allowed to it? answer it i'm not we sure of we course as much before a couple of years ago we we did this um, analyzing uh, regarding uh, technology trends and so on and then yeah. we also took a look at other portals platforms and so on but we decided to do that ourselves uh -huh. because we are open we are able to go into one direction if there's a high demand from the market mm -hmm. and we go, can go also in another direction if the demand is going into that way. Mm. So we decided to do this by ourselves. That does not mean that every single line of code was written by us. As you know, also, yeah, especially for web development, you can use open source mm -hmm. uh, code and, and uh, frameworks and so yeah. on. That's what we do, of course. Yeah. But it is very important also for yeah. us regarding data privacy that we have everything under our control. Mm -hmm. So we have a very interesting uh, architecture. Uh, we are not allowed to talk about in detail here, but you can <laughs> say, or we can say we have a uh, privacy, de by, uh, privacy by design architecture in our system. So yeah. your data is safe, mm -hmm. of course, and that is a very, very important, important yes, point for it us. Is. Okay. <laughs> So, a good, good words for the ending, I would say. <laughs> Dirk, thank you so much. Thank you for the deep dive into the digital learning portal. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, if you have more questions, as we said before, please use the chat function in the booth area. Some of our specialists are there the whole evening to answer the questions you may have. And yeah, we say thank you. See thank you, you next time. See you. See <laughs> thank you, you for the <laughs> information. You. Bye. Thank you all.